G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. I've just been converting a bunch of videos to 32 line MBTV standard to play on my free BP1 green, green screen tube NBTV standard video monitor that I successfully built. And yeah, I'm having a bit of fun playing them on the monitor. So I've um I'm currently playing a really old NBC NBC logo from around 1944, which was used on early television back then. So you got the old NBC microphone with the waves coming out in and out of it and the transmitter and the WNBT logo. Yeah, well anyway, I've uh, got a few uh, converted MBTV files. I used uh, Gary's video to MBTV converter to convert the video files to MBTV standard. So let's start with um, a with one of my old films that I that was shot um, a couple of years ago doing some plane spotting. So yeah, I've so here's um, some jets passing over me when I was shooting this film. The interesting thing, of course, is you can actually even see the the um, film scratches and dusts and all that sort of thing as well. So even with 32 lines, you can still pick up a decent amount of um, picture information. Oh yeah, I have to mention too that, as you'll notice in these videos, uh, I've got a lot more um, grey scales than I was when I was previously demonstrating some NBTV video. That's because I adjust the black level inside the inside the unit to bring out more of the grey scales. So yeah, I've got more picture information displayed on the screen opposed to before and when I was getting just half tones and, and the like. I'll just drop it down a bit for this camera to pick up. Drop down the contrast a bit. Let's get forward to another part of the film when I was shooting around the I was shooting around home and around other places. And that's me <laughs> when I had a moustache. That's my VT Commodore. That's a helicopter. That's a control. That's a power line tower in Berkeley. Yeah, it's just amazing how much detail is in a 32 line video. Looks quite amazing considering we've only got 32 lines of resolution. That's uh, the island in uh, Lake Illawarra. Yeah, go to another clip. 
Actually, let's play one of the clips that I played yesterday. So yeah, um, since I've adjusted the black level, we've got much better grayscales as you can see on the screen. Whoever made this logo um, where I downloaded it off um, did a pretty good job. Looks really cool. Okay, let's play some countdown. Can I go about playing a countdown clip on this monitor? Seeing countdown's my favourite music show. I forget this silly camera to focus. So there's Daryl Braithwaite and Molly Meldrum in his younger years, before he wore the hat. Okay, um, here's Damo and Darren. Now yeah, here's um, a really old craft commercial from the late 1980s. Those who, who grew up as a kid in the 80s, like myself, um, you probably remember this ad. It's where you got a claymation um, peanut butter guy and a and a girl with curly hair taking preference to craft peanut butter. And once again, the uh, detail in the picture looks really, really good for 32 lines. Now, um, here's something that people near the war are most familiar with, the... Uh, Port Kembla stack demolition back in 2014. So this is this is my uh, Super 8 capture of the Port Kembla stack demolition. This particular clip is actually an edit that I made, which the stack goes down and comes back up again.
Oh, it is a uh, scanning bars test. I'm going to stabilize this. Gee, this is a bit off. This particular one's probably made for a different TV standard. Let's try another one. Once again, rather off. Here we go. 32 line standard. Yeah, with this, with uh, my phone camera, it tends to blow out the highlights. So you don't really see the gradations properly. So I'll, I'll temporarily lower the brightness, just the contrast, just to show the, the higher end of the, uh, of, of the, of the gradient. And we'll turn back up again and you can see the uh, lower end of the gradient. So that's a monochrome bar pattern for NBTV standard. And it's displaying quite nicely. Now here's some uh, skyscrapers taken on various films that I shot. So it's Sydney skyscrapers. Alright, well, that's pretty much all my clips that I've um, encoded to NBTV for for some playback fun. Let's um, go to that old movie sequence that I showed yesterday. Now that we've got much better contrast, or much better black level. So yeah, you can actually see much more detail now. And yeah, we'll just play a few other clips and yeah, that'll be pretty much it. I think my program's crashed. Try again. Just going to pause the video until I get a video up. Alrighty, here's that uh, NBTV 
logo video that I showed yesterday. As you can see the grey scales are much better once again. And here's another MBT value logo. I'll just adjust it a bit. So you have to kind of adjust the uh, volume control of the playback scene. You're dealing with a WAV file. So you, if you ever drive it, you, it becomes a garbled mess. And if you underdrive it, you can also get a garbled mess. So there we go, the NBTV logo. Alrighty, well, that's pretty much about it. It's, I'm just amazed how good these pictures have been looking on this uh, Freebie P1 tube, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, seeing various clips in 32 line NB TV standard on on the green screen Freebie P1 oscilloscope tube. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do some cosmetic work on on the front panel, uh, probably starting tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video when I when I give this. Unit A finishing cosmetic touch. Anyway, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.